Welcome to the Thunder Practice Report. John Rohde alongside Oklahoma columnist Barry Trammell. Barry, Thunder leads Dallas 2-zip in the series, but Derek Fisher says there's no such thing as momentum in the playoffs. Your th what's he know? He's only won five rings. But what are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, I you know, it depends on how you want to uh, define momentum. I'd say having a 2-0 lead is, is uh, momentum, but uh, maybe he means Maybe it means uh, whatever happened last game has no uh, no effect on next game. If that's what he means, that's you know that's possibly so. The truth of the matter is, if the Thunder doesn't have momentum, they have a huge advantage. They've got a 2-0 lead, and uh, the Mavericks have to win four or five now, which is a tall task. Kevin Durant has a double-double, a uh, game-winning shot, and he hasn't arrived yet. What if Kevin arrives? What happens then? Well, I think we need to go uh, send out an APB for Sean Marion. Uh, I don't, I don't know that Kevin's going to get uh, free this series as long as Sean Marion's draped all over him. Marion's done a fabulous job on defense. We saw it last May, uh, game one. Durant was really good, but after that, Durant struggled. Uh, Sean Marion plays the good D. Uh, I think Kevin Durant uh, is going to be very happy to get the Mavs in his rearview mirror. Game three is Thursday night at 8:30. Game four is Saturday night at 6:30. What do you see happening, Barry? I think it's more close games. I mean. Uh, now we've what seen seven uh, playoff games uh, matching these teams in the last 12 months, and no no double digit finals. Everything's single digit, very close, goes right to the wire. Uh, I would expect to see the same thing. If the Thunder can get a split, they're going to win the series. If uh, if the Mavs can get a sweep, it's a whole new ball game. Those are our thoughts. Now let's hear from Scott Brooks, Kevin Durant, and Derek Fisher. It's important that our guys um, play well, uh, Kevin and, and Russell and, and James, there's no question, but what makes our team really good is the other guys step up. And sometimes, and including myself, sometimes we look at what they do if they are scoring or not. But they, those other guys have to set screens, rebound, you know, make the important reads on the defense, but that's what makes us a good team. We have really good players, but our, our role players are really good and they do their job every night. But it's important to, you know, in the playoffs to have everybody play well. Well, you know, we just got to, we know they're going to be tough on their home floor. We just got to stick to what we've been doing, playing defense, playing together. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll knock down some shots tomorrow. And uh, we're just playing hard. That's playing hard. I think that's what we've been doing. These games have been close. So hopefully we close the games out if they do end up like that again. You know, we faced, uh, you know, some adversity here in the first two games at home. And, uh, you know, we didn't let down. We, we didn't give up on the game. Uh, there were some times where the momentum that the Mavericks had could have, uh, you know, put us in a, a negative mindset. But uh, we just kept playing, kept believing, and figured out a way to win. And, you know, that's what the postseason is about. Uh, people don't remember field goal percentage and how many turnovers you had and who made however many shots. They just remember who won and who lost. And uh, that's what we have to continue to think about is not about our individual games, but just uh, about how we win a game collectively. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's why I'm a winner. <clears throat> that's why I want to be labeled as a guy that wins games. And, uh, you know, I'm not shooting the ball well, but just trying to do other things, and, you know. So I just got to can't, – can't dwell on the last two games. You know, I just got to move on. I just got to move on. So uh, we'll see what happens next game. Game three is Thursday, tomorrow night at 8.30. Barry, you see another close one, you said, but who wins? Uh, I'm going to pick Dallas in this one. I think uh, if Dallas plays the way it did in Oklahoma City, it'll win in Dallas. All right, and if there is a game five, it will be at Chesapeake Arena Monday at 7, not 8.30, 7 o'clock. For the best Thunder coverage anywhere, keep it right here on NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoma.